One of the first things I want to talk about in regards to holding pads is your focus when you're holding pads. In my gym, I make it a point to point out to all my students that training is never one-sided. So when I'm holding pads for my partner, my goal is to be the best pad holder that I can. And there's actually a lot of things that I can benefit from being a good pad holder. I learn to stand in my regular fighting stance when I'm holding pads for my opponent. That way my timing, every time they throw a jab, I know where to receive that jab. I always receive it in front of my body. So when it comes to sparring time, I have a better feel of what it looks like when someone's throwing technique at me. Another benefit of really engaging in your pad work is to know when the weapon is coming. So when a kick is being thrown at me at full power, I can at least in a proper position learn to absorb that kick. One of the biggest mistakes that I see is people switching the way they hold pads in order to what they think give their training partner the best kick. So the, normally the way I would hold a roundhouse kick, I would stand like this because that's how I would absorb a kick, but some people will switch the whole stance and they will never learn how to counter um, anything after blocking a kick or they might flail their arms all over the place and make, try to make everything look really nice when realistically you want to be tight. Don't think of it as just, oh, it's my turn to hold pads. I just can't wait until this gets over until it's my turn to hit pads. You should be taking advantage of your pad holding to work on your timing, to work on seeing what technique looks like when it's being thrown at you at full power.